Hey guys, what's poppin'? Um, okay, so I got asked to do a video about where I come from, which is Hopiwan, how I grew up. Yeah, pretty much just that stuff. So I grew up in a place called Hobima, which is a re tiny reserve, some whack ass people there. Um, I, used to, I went to all three of the schools there, kindergarten, middle school, high school. Um, my school experience was um, it was pretty much walky, but I got through that shit. Um, like, of course, you're gonna be in the closet if you're getting called faggot when you're like 10, going to school. But, um, pretty much, as I got to high school, I just, like, started, you know, putting on makeup, not giving a fuck what people thought, you know. So, of course, I get, like, name dropped and, like, shit, humiliated and shit like that, but I feel as a person, like, if none of that should ever happen to me or what I ever went through as a child and growing up, like, that wouldn't make me me today. Like, fuck, I dye my hair blonde. I dress the way I fucking want to dress. I always wear high heels. Fuck. I do what I want. I have my own job. I, like, pretty much, my mom moved me out of there this year. Like, she moved me out of, out of there in October, so... That was like the best thing that ever happened to me. As much as I didn't want to leave it, I hated the fact that I'm leaving home and shit. Like, but as I think of it now, that life never got me nowhere because I was a fucking dropout. I fucking hated school. Like school was a motherfucking. Ugh, I hated it. Um, like I couldn't even use the fucking washrooms there. Like that was how like horrible. If I used to go and get go in the boys' washroom, like I get told to get the fuck out, cause I'm apparently I was in the wrong washroom, like the fucking dick too. Who gives a fuck? But I used to go in the girls' washroom, as a matter of fact. But when I get caught, I get called to the principal's office, and like that woman was like, like I get threatened to like get like suspended and shit, or get charged because apparently that. Like, the law, a man can't go in the girl's washroom, like, I'm gonna touch some pussy or lick it, you know? Fuck. But, like, I used to just wait till I got home to go fucking pee, but, which was all good, because I'm a motherfucking champ. I can hold that shit in as long as I can, you know? But, like, shit. That was my life, you know? Not, I was pretty much a not grow up in my life, but, you know, I'm making the best out of the shit that I'm doing today. I'm, like, I'm loving life. You know, I'm still eating my salami and just like doing my hair and putting on my makeup. And that's just a good life for me. It's, it's the only life I want to live. And, you know, I know success is going to happen further on in the future, but we're just going to wait for that. And just going to keep positive and I love positive people. And yeah, but whatever. Um, so, um, watch out for my article that's coming out on June 23rd where I'm fucking talking more shit about Hobima, but, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.